Hello. Welcome. Oh, it's nice. See it's nice seeing you there. I decided to play Detroit Become Human because it was on sale on Steam. And I thought, why not? This game always uh, piqued my interest. I, I never actually played it or, or seen any play uh, gameplay of it. I've seen like a few snippets here or there, but like, I know it's about like AI robots or something like that. And they've become like sentient or something like that. But that's about <laughs> as much as I know. Uh, I, I will, I've always liked uh, story games like this, kind of like uh, Heavy Rain on the PS3 and uh, other games uh, of that nature. And I thought I'd give this a try. So guys, if you're watching this live, hello now. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello to you in the future. And let's, let's get this thing started. Let me, let me resize myself. I'm actually huge. That, that's a good size. Start a new story. Yes. Uh, I had to open this game up and try to, I was trying to get it working on, on Streamlabs and it was not working. So I, the only thing I've seen was this August 15th date right here. Okay. Apple hates this guy. Cause the, cause the Android. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Holy. Oh, he is an Android. Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. Negotiator on site. Uh, okay. Feels, feels crazy. Kneel down. A fish? Dwarf Gorami. Save the fish. Put him back in the water. How did he jump out? Software instability up. Okay. Oh, hello. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Emotionless. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? What? I feel like this would be the best case scenario. Like if something bad happens. Hold right click to consult your objectives. Find Captain Allen. Okay. Hey, yo, Captain. What's good, my boy? Uh, talk is one. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Deviant's name, deviant's behavior, emotional shock. Uh, one. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Exactly, dude. What the hell? Deviant's behavior. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Huh? Probability of su success is 48%. Understand what happened. Save hostages at all claw. Okay. Analyze. He's got a gun. MS Blackhawk. Capacity 17 rounds. Okay. Is there more clues here? How do I get out of here? Was that it, right? That was it? Bro, how do I get out of here? Am I going crazy? 
<laughs> How do I get out of here? Oh. The uh, three five five. Okay, we just reconstruct. Use long keys to. Okay. Just knocked everything down because he was frantically looking for the gun. It looks like. Okay. I guess I have to stay in this yellow part. Deviant took father's gun. How do we know? Okay. How did we deduce that? From... Okay. Probability of success is 51%. We're moving somewhere. He likes interior design. Okay. Just kidding. Uh, understand what happened. Search the hostages. Is there more in here? Looks like it. There's some broken things over here. That I cannot interact with. Um, what button was it to console the objectives? I thought it was 51. Understand what happened. Okay, okay. Check this way. Okay. Is that a transparent iPad? Yeah, why wouldn't they just tell me that? Like, if you want me to negotiate, wouldn't I benefit from all the information? Like, unlock the dialogue uh, action. Often beneficial. Go all of you, go where I jump. What are you talking about? Where else? Where else can I look? Okay, bathroom. Okay, there's more. Okay, the hostage. Just two, three things that are locked. came from that. Okay. Let's move towards I love the camera blur. All units hold positions. Examine the victims. Damn. Long hemorrhage. Minumatorex. <laughs> Left kidney. Sheesh. Buddy was aiming. John Phillips. Estimated time of death, 729. Lower lung hemorrhage. Holy smokes, brother. Okay. Buddy was just chilling. Father was holding something. Rewind to search for a new clue. Sounding good on stream? Not tell. Hope it is. Um, I can't hear myself on phone. 
Makes a lot of sense. Okay, perfect. Good to go. All right, just making sure that everything was running smoothly. Let's go pick up that uh, transparent iPad. Deviant was going to be replaced. <laughs> he wanted a... <laughs> is that a newer model? Or is it just because it was a woman? Okay. Holy smokes. I mean, that's... Insane. not playing games. Emily was about to have dinner. Okay. There's a few more things. Let me see what that is on the floor. Uh, hello, hello. Arpides was a first responder. Bullet wound, right heart, ventricle. Sheesh. Anthony Deckert. Damn, bro. This guy is not... <laughs> he's getting replaced and he was not having it. Gunshot residue. So, if they get replaced, do they just, like, die? Or do they go work somewhere else? Like... What happens if an uh, android dies? Do they feel it? There's no cap. I'd be scared too. I mean, I wouldn't go this far, but like, I mean, if you're just going to be like put down, then it's kind of, you know. Okay, hostage witnessed the shooting. Yeesh. Little girl, man. Pop shot the deviant. Okay, so he's injured right now. There's a gun under the table. Ha! Wow, okay, so like, the more you research, the more options you have. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be having that. Take what? Look at more androids, less work. I could easily see this being the future, especially with those uh, Elon Musk robots. Have you saw, have you all seen those? Like they're not nearly this advanced, but I mean it's getting there. Fresh blue blood. Android is wounded. Android blood is blue. Interesting. Got that electric jelly in him. Ha. Ah. That scared the shit out of me. Color from all human blood. A hostage could be wounded. Maybe they just stepped in some of that blood. Is there any more things to look at? What is that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I feel like I just gotta try everything. Their <laughs> smart TV could have more clues. Oh, they're standing on the edge of the room. We're in a high rise. First time that this has happened. Oh, 
Sounds like they about to start a revolution. Research. I've come to get you out of this. Deviant destabilized. Yeah, because a fucking helicopter just did. Is there anything else that I have to look at right now? Buddy, come on. Empathize. I'm an android, just like you. I know how you're feeling! What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side! You can't understand how I'm feeling! She is hurt. Are you armed? No, brother. No. <laughs> Why would I be? I don't have a gun. Come on! You're I know you have a gun! I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. What? Uh... They were going to replace you, and you became upset. Let's That's what happened, closer. right? Part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Wow. Listen. Yeah, he needs sympathy. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. I never wanted this. Of course not, bro. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. It looks like I can. Listen, there are snipers on every roof. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Sacrifice self compromise? Feel like I could have saved him, <laughs> or make that not happen. Uh, and now she sees the. Software instability gone down. Okay, I should try to stay alive more, huh? Okay, okay. I, I, I mucked that one up. I definitely mucked that up. Thank you. Play the first chapter. Mission accomplished. Saved. Uh, this is the scenes flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken. The paths yet to be explored. 
and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flow chart. Okay. Connor died protecting Emma. I, I, I could have done that better, bro. Uh, the, the fact that the, the choices are like going down on the timer like pretty fast is like a little nerve wracking, dude. Uh, wasted too much time. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was bugging. Um, okay. I took the friendly approach. Dismissed the helicopters. Lie about the gun. Get close enough. Yeah, sacrifice self was a... That was not the move. Tab world stats. Oh, 14% of people did that. Uh, uh, oops. Whatever, whatever. We're learning. Mission was accomplished. Uh, I assumed because I was a robot, they would be able to bring me back. Or an android, I should say. But uh, I probably shouldn't think that way. Considering that I got little down arrows saying that my system is being corrupted. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Up to Good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Wow. Please. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. Do you just buy it for seventy five? Or seventy nine thousand, we'll or seventy nine hundred, <laughs> and choice. do you have to like keep paying monthly after that? Or? If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. How much is that one over there? The end is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Then Come along, and I'll show you. Yeah, we're this is so cool. Yeah, I don't remember this guy. Part of me is like, damn, it's kind of sad there because they're so humanoid. It's almost like you're a bit buying slaves in a way, but it was really they're not nice human. Stuff. But I, uh, from the looks of it, it looks like they're. Becoming human, considering that this guy was wanting to be loved by the family. Anyway, it's as good as new now. Except who the hell is this guy? Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Register your name. He looks like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Kara. My name is Kara. I'm a little girl. Welcome to Detroit. Oh no, that's not a little girl. I can't tell how old that android is supposed to be. This is like a freaking movie. I've never been to Detroit, but I, I just feel like it doesn't look like this. Wow. I wonder how far we are from like this being a reality. Cause those uh, Elon, like even those vans are a thing. Cause Elon Musk just announced the Robovan, <laughs> Robovan. Um, and they like drive themselves. It's just like a giant empty shell. And it just like knows where it is in space. And um, he has those, uh, those robots as well. They don't look like that at all, really. They look kind of like faceless, but I'm sure you could attach more like human looking body parts onto it. So I feel like we're maybe a good like, like 10, 10 years away, 10, 20 years away from getting our first like real looking human like robots that we could buy as assistants or something like that. I'd say, I'd say 15. Let's call it a 15 year. I mean, yeah, technically, yes. 2038, that is 15 years from now. Holy. 14 years. Would you like 
Yo, isn't that the guy from... This guy is like in a TV show, is he not? Are his sleeves torn? Why are his graphics low? Whatever. Are those a floating pair of eye... Alright. <laughs> what is happening here? Uh, maybe that was just a, a glitch in the Matrix. Okay. Got them doing all the dirty work. How do people How do people make money now? You know, what are the jobs that humans do? This guy is... Just chilling in the park drinking. I can't tell if my sleeves are ripped or if the graphics are messed up. Why is my guy's head so boxy? Lenny Paints is not this way. Achieve the order at the Bellini paint shop. Okay. Oh shit, it's the buzz. What's that? Why, why did she just get scared? Yeah, bro's head is lump. Oh, uh, uh. bro's head is lumpy like uh, like he's been wearing headphones all day. Light is green, bro. Let me go. Okay, hold right click to use the cheap. Paint shop is yonder. Gehada aus. <laughs> Can I get a hot dog? Bro, what is happening? <laughs> Are y'all seeing this floating pair of eyes? What happened to the game? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This has got to be fixed. Ah, okay. <laughs> what? Do I have to restart the game? Human music, one dollar to hear. Music with soul. It looks like humans are going to be fighting for, for work here in the future, man. Is that copyright? Damn, I shouldn't have been talking. Listen to that. We have to burn the androids. Let us burn them all. Burn the androids. Why do you look at me so, demon? Hey, yo, what? I know who you are. I He's an actor, you right? You. you are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. What happened to the graphics here? You think androids are going to burn finish. Detroit? The end is nigh. Retribution is Ban ahead. androids. We the want jobs. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's a bleak future. Like, what happens when we do get the technology for this? Like, are we... What kind of jobs will humans still be doing? You know? This is a insanely filled world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because, like, even, like, say, a lawyer, I feel like a robot could get better understanding of how the law works, you know? Memorizing everything. And hopefully the next loading screen fixes these graphics, because this is insane. I feel like they're getting worse. Okay. All right. All right. There's nothing in this shop. Except me. <sighs> okay. Um, how about I edit this part of the video out? Uh, okay, this looks so much better. A very cool paint shop. Connect. This is how you order things? Oh, my hand disappeared. Yeah, I swear I've seen this android in like a TV show. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. I have to pay. 
I have to pay Order respects. Confirmed. Transaction complete. Wow. Anything else in here? Dude, this is so freaking detailed, man. Hey. My boy can use a lineup, can he? Uh, use the following key to switch camera angle. Left control. Okay. What are my objectives? Take the bus home. Damn, bro. I lost my... Muslim says job because of androids. Help me. Bus is not this way. That is tough. But yeah, like, what happens? Like, how will humans make money to survive when all the jobs are taken away by androids? Like, I know androids are, like, here to help us, but at the same time, like, how does it, how does it all work? I know the bus is not this way. I just wanted to check out the world. Android temporary parking? What? Why would you park in Android? Like maybe you're not allowed to bring it into certain places? Yo. Okay. This is so crazy. They're just like in the windows, like. Oh man. It's like advanced slavery. Yup. I'm not even made out of tin. <laughs> it's actually adamantium. Oh nah. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. You gotta take the high road. When they go low, we go high. If you stoop to their level, you're just gonna. Oh. How is this legal? In public. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. We can take your job next. Let's see if you like it. Okay. Let's go. One one. Androids are stealing our jobs. Yeah. Right. We got families to feed. And I just have a feeling like I feel like Android would be mad strong. I feel like this would like whoop that guy's ass like if it was actually a fight this is not the way to the bus okay all right where's the way to the bus the bus is that way okay have any of y'all ever been to detroit before yeah i feel like the discrimination is almost like Get hit by the bus. It's like how certain races in different places have to f go about their daily lives back in the day. Yeah, in the back of the bus. Ain't that some shit? Sucks. Oh, 
There was so much I could have done that I didn't do. What? It? I guess it was more things I could have seen and looked at. I don't know. I feel like the game was like, oh, you didn't look this way. You didn't go that way. You should have. You should have gone here. The bus stop isn't this way. It's okay. It wasn't that much I missed. Bro, oh, is that a little girl? Hey, yo. How can you afford an android? You ain't open the door for me, bro. Come on, man. Use following key to switch. Yep. You coming? Yeah, this man lives in construction zone. Straight cams flowing up. Join Todd. All right. Yeah, bro. I'm here. I'm here. Is there anything I can? Yeah, that looks just like the robo van that was announced by that uh, Elon Musk keynote, man. That's crazy. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's huh. Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Hold right click to scan your environment. Bro, they got me doing chores? Damn, bro. Tasks. Can I talk to the oh, girl? No. No. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Ever. Dishwasher is not working. Missing component. Order processing. I ordered it? That's yeah, yeah. insane. I'm like yeah. connected to Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know, you know where. <laughs> part of me sees this like for sure as a future, but like a part of me makes it sad. It's like it just feels like you're ordering slaves, man. TV on. And I know they're not humans, but like, say they truly do have a conscience like that first one did. Then like, are we just creating like a better form of humans? Are they going to take over the world one day? Like, are we just replacing ourselves with a better being? Is that what's happening here? Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Bring Todd beer. God damn, bro. I. It's honestly blowing my mind how like real this feels. Like. How like. Real this scenario. I can easily see this happening, man. It's just it's so surreal. What are you looking at? Watching hockey. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Why are you living you. like this? You don't let your androids. <laughs> Is that a vacuum? Is it vacuuming anything? Alice, you better stop that right now. 
brother is screaming. Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. Collect trash in trash bin. If I stand in front of the TV, does he get mad? Guess not. Can I talk to Alice? I'm sorry your dad got you living like this. The world will get better. Um, what else is there to do? Gotta collect the trash and then it looks like I can go to the backyard. Can I really not just walk over this thing? Collect trash. Jeez, he doesn't even want to play with his daughter. He bought a robot to play with his daughter. It's crazy. Poor girl, man. Just neglected, it seems. And I... I got a trash can in my hands. Like, probably shouldn't be playing with you right now, huh? More trash. This freaking vacuum is going to be the death of me, dude. Get out of the way. Golly, so much trash, man. Like, were you really not going to do it until you got another robot, bro? Like, or got this robot fixed, I should say. Take out the rat. Wait. Crash in the front or the back? In the back, right? Probably this way then. Credit card application form rejected. Overdrawn account notice. Past due for 300 bucks. Whether you live recklessly, brother. I can assume he probably had a job and lost it perhaps are they building a highway over his house wow rebuild north corktown a better place to live oh they're gentrifying his neighborhood Bus. Oh, why couldn't I look at it? Okay. What did it say? Um, okay. Let's get back in. Finish these chores up. Fuck, man. Report to Todd. And poor girl, man. She just looks like she wants to play. She has like an imagination. She's going under the table like it's a fort. She just needs some sort of social like, interaction, bro. You got this. Out of the way for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. Sauce. It won't happen again. It won't happen again. It's about to happen right now. Forbidden zone. Todd is watching TV. Backyard. Okay, let's do that. All sports. You can reread discovered articles in the extras section. Is he, what's happening over there? Hey, yo, what's he? No, no, how do we put this down? What are those noises you're making, bro? Is that red smoke? What is happening? And he's just calling his daughter a headache. <laughs> this is the worst. I, I, you honestly hate to see this. Um, page one. 
Android power. Should it be outlawed in its third game of the season? Android pitcher has threw a pitch that broke the 120 mile an hour mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were in. Damn. That was good. <laughs> controversial. Just like, uh, like different gendered people playing in uh, sports. Like it's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, these are different articles that I could switch, but I go to different pages by going down. Okay. Fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing this limits humans potential. The machine breaking these kinds of records isn't exciting or even surprising. Not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit, ex pitcher thinks androids are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do better. The game can only survive by evolving. I mean, so I think the human race, like, will only get better as long as we keep progressing things, you know? And I think androids are the next evolution of that, you know? Connecting the dots. Transport Innovation Checking Up California. The new subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours. Less than half the five hour flight time, the top speed is 1800 miles an hour was made possible because the tubes travels through a depressurized chamber, providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. Wasn't Elon Musk trying to do something like that in LA? For commuters, this race is a tantalizing prospect to finish a long shift the Big Apple putting on your f Wow. California property markets are reacting. Suburban prices have skyrocketed 64% as if it wasn't expensive enough. They're East Coast types, specifically New Yorkers. They see a chance to keep that New York salary while enjoying LA lifestyle. They're scrambling over each other to take advantage. Sorry, I was AFK. Just starting the game? Yeah, this is... Uh, I just started the game. I feel so bad for this little girl, man. Like, this guy is, like, thinks that she's annoying. All he wants to do is sit, drink beer, smoke drugs, and watch hockey all day. And it's, like, it's so sad. He's so rude. He just yells at everybody and everything. There's alcohol everywhere. I'm assuming he lost his job doing some sort of who God knows what. And probably feels a way towards androids. And all he does is just do drugs now and probably hasn't tried to do anything to, like, improve his situation he's late on some bills like it's just crazy to me how real this feels like i it's it's just so possible you know I'll check out the backyard right there's a ting over there and a fence. Let's check the tingy out. Take down laundry. First, okay. Let me go to the fence first. Let's see what's over here. Was that blood on the walls in that house? Or was that just like weird graphics. Why would that even allow me to look over the fence? Okay. Guess we're doing more chores. That's me for real? Uh, <laughs> talking about fucking Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force on the couch? That's you? <laughs> Or are you the little girl under the table? Can I yell at her? What you doing outside? Just kidding. I would do that. Rewash laundry. Is that the laundry machine outside? Can I talk to the little girl? She needs interaction. She needs loving in her life because ain't nothing. That, nah, we're playing games immediately. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Backyard. Sure. You like playing out here? Is 
Gucci Mute. That was a fun game. That's just an old stove, I assume. Okay, but she's warming up. Hopefully that girl can get some sort of like love and appreciation in her life. Get the detergent. Is that red ice? Acetone, lithium, hydrochloric acid. It's like, oh my god. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. You, you put it in the detergent. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business, unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. <laughs> it's insane. Like, there's really people out here like this. AX400 is the model type that I am. And I think... The model type of the guy I was playing at at the beginning was a, not the cop one, but the the guy right before this woman was like an 800 model, I believe. I don't remember what the cop model was. I really wish I didn't sacrifice myself. Finish first floor. Oh. Oh. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Yeah, I, I figured you would say something like that. Can I walk in front of the TV again? Hey, fuck you, dog. Damn it. Tidy up the room. I'm going to go play with your daughter because you are an incapable father at this point. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Appreciate that conversation there, pal. Maybe she just is scared to talk because the dad like yells at her. Got all the light wheels, boy. Got now. I think the dad probably like has yelled at her far too many times for her to like want to speak up, especially to a. I guess I'm a stranger right now. His daughter, tidy up Todd's room. Unless I was already here and he just needed to repair me. Then I can't really tell. Android QB. Slam dunk. Basketball star Gary Gibbons interview. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players with top tier games still in exclusive human affair. But that may be about to change. Following CyberLife's recent unveiling of technical demo QB1000, the Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide, the model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays, from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. QB1000 was revealed at a recent CyberLife exhi exhibition in Detroit where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show potential of bleeding edge technology. But while CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of anti-Android fan group, sees a sinister aspect CyberLife uh, know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration and hope to distort our sport the same way they have all others. Despite these reservations, some considered this a simply a matter of time with basketball and baseball already con uh, contemplating Android players. A LED sporting QB might just be around the corner. The price of life. Uh, I'm probably not going to read all of these, but these are just so interesting right now. Like the lore behind all this. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death situations, for example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit. But the exact process by which the car makes these decisions is not very well understood. 
Martin Furlong of Brown Cars tries to clarify in these situations the car's imaging system and gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in a blink of an eye. That's taking a lot of choice. And that actually reminds me, like today I saw on Reddit, like it was a Tesla Model X or something like that that was doing autopilot mode, I'm suppo uh, I assume. And it got in an accident um, and it was either going to hit a pedestrian or go into oncoming traffic and it chose oncoming traffic. Uh, I don't think anybody died in that scenario, so I guess it chose the right thing, but it, there's already a sign of that happening here where they're making decisions between human or I think something else that's met. That's it's too freaking real, man. Uh, this data is parsed through the public record to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives like doctors and nurses. Wow. All this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, says the system has no right to, deter, uh, to make such judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society, society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. But for long dismisses such claims, we want our cars to make the best possible choices. And that means acting on the basis of all information they can gather more the better. Man, how do y'all feel about that? Would you want the car to make these types of decisions or just like choose randomly which what to hit? Because I, I feel on one side, if it's random, then there wasn't any choice and it didn't like have any sort of favoritism. But like if you were a driver and you knew somebody was a criminal and somebody was a doctor who just, you know, came out of a surgery saving a child's life, which one would you hit, you know, um, or choose to veer off into? I don't know. It's that's some shit, man. This game is really blowing my mind right now. Bed. Would y'all ever buy a robot like this? How would you feel if it like took your job and then you were like jobless and you could not find another job for the life of you because androids have been taking all the other types of jobs that you were qualified for? How would you feel? Would you still want to own one? I think I would. Okay. These more bills? Yes, they are. Bank statements. Are there more drugs in there? You gonna get mad at me? Credit card. Something, something. Oh, he, he got, she got a yellow thing on his, uh, on her head because I guess she's like a little skit. Am I allowed to turn this on? Will he get mad at me? And now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for the critical match with Denver tonight at the Cyberlife Arena. How about I leave this TV on for the daughter? Oh, I guess I don't really have a choice. Jobs were lost for the US economy in October, Damn. The Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. 37.3. It's crazy. Wow. Put them together and hit them both. No moral dilemma there. Just an accident. Watch it. Damn, bro. I was cleaning your room. I bet you ain't even wash your hands. The toilet was still flushing when you was walking out. I know you ain't washing things. 
Fuck yeah, I'll take that robot. <laughs> Would you be an asshole to it like this guy? You have two bathrooms? Oh, you live in nice. My boy got two bathrooms. Is that me? Am I robot? I robot? What well, is place is a mess. He was only she was only uh what? He said he was she was gone for like two weeks. Uh, ain't no way your place got this dirty in two weeks, bro. I definitely wouldn't be nice to be honest. I'd probably treat it less than a human. Really? Why would you do that? Like what makes you feel that way? Like I get it. It is not a human, but like why would you treat it less than? But I wouldn't want to choke it out like that, dude. Your room a little. I feel you. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Alice in, Alice Wonderland. in Wonderland. Of course. That swiper. He really walked over the book. That's so cool. Treasures. Because beyond the initial infatuation with it, it is a household appliance. Yeah, but like why practice being rude to it? Like, I feel like showing compassion to this robot is, is something that can like respond to you. You know, like, wouldn't you I don't know. I feel like it instills a better mindset. Like if you are constantly being positive in your day to day actions with something that you have in your house that can interact with you and your children, like that could also show, you know, everybody else in your house, a positive energy and give positive vibes around. Like, I don't know. I feel like spreading negativity, is just never a good, good choice. You know, at least that's just how I feel. She's drawing on the walls. Oh, nah. Hit that kid. Just kidding. Seems you like reading. You can read. Nah, I would be mean, but I don't think I'd speak to it the way I would a stranger. No, okay. I wouldn't be mean, but I don't think I'd speak to it the way I'd speak a stranger. I mean... So you wouldn't be mean, but you wouldn't shift. Why do I have to press shift? Like, what are these random buttons I got to press, bro? Hello? I'm pressing the buttons. Oh. Unlocked <laughs> a way out. You've unlocked dialogue option op potentially beneficial. Make the bed. Can I talk to the to Alice? Um, that it? I don't know. The way that it zoomed into that window made me feel like I'm I'm gonna steal this kid from this this man. I do everything. I think I did. Tidy Todd's room. Did I not tidy Todd's room? The guitar on the floor. Okay. Um, his closet, his shoes, damn boy, them things busted, ain't they? Tidy that, do I, what else do I tidy up here? Did I not read this already? I did read that. Oh, he's got pills here, <laughs> pills here. Antidepressant contains tea. Okay. 
And he's got a blick. Okay. You have unlocked the dialogue option. Option. Okay. I know where the strap is at. Okay. Ventilate room. Okay. Gotcha. Shift. Double mouse click and up. Bro, what are these controls? Okay. Talk to Alex. Finally. Little girl deserves some attention. Factual, friendly. Yeah, bro, we'll be friendly. Sure what are you talking used about? To be friends before I was reset. Oh, she was Maybe reset. Okay. Again. Doesn't remember anything. Name Kara. Wide interests. Mother. I'm not about to ask her. Your father said you chose my name. Kara. It's nice. How did you choose it? Seems quiet. Yeah, why you would I say that? about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go. And I'm definitely about to talk about her mom. Friends. That would really help me. Like that would bring something bad up. Yeah, no. Nah. I'd rather say it seems quiet. Very actually. quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Up, oh, you do. Oh. <laughs> Feel a little weird, but it's okay. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Key. Bro, just move the book. <laughs> like, stop walking over it. Detroit become human? Great choice. How much have you played so far? Uh, I technically just started. Like, I just... I don't know if you're familiar with the game, but I'm like... In... I don't know the guy's name's house, but I just started playing as this woman, and I'm cleaning up a house. And I have met his daughter. Is that... Lucky Clover, okay. That. And I'm assuming the parents. Back when they were happy and had jobs. Damn, he looks... Like the Wolverine a little bit. And I'm assuming the mom died of something and then he started going off the walls with alcohol and drugs. Damn, did, is that her, the daughter or the mom? I'm assuming that's the daughter then. She got hit. Oh, she was bleeding and then I'm guessing he blamed the Kara, the android. He beat the android to death and they needed to be repaired. Yeah, let's put that back. That wasn't the right order. I beat it once, I'll keep my ending a secret for now, but I'll warn you there are multiple based on your choices. Okay, I love that. I love games like that. No spoilers, please. Ask Todd for new instructions. Would you ever own a robot like this, uh, Trisha Kenobi? Like, say this robot took your job and you were not able to find a job for the life of you. You were trying for months and just couldn't find one. What are you doing? Oh. Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. I think your dad's a low life. Oh, huh? he's got Fucking low self esteem. Can't get a job, take care of his family. You said Don't that. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. Hey, yo. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Huh? Say it! You hate me! You're tripping, bro. She doesn't even know how to, like, think like that, bro. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. <laughs> this shit is so sad. What happened to the mom, dude? Did she... Oh, oh, oh. Did I get everything? I did. Oh my god, did I just 100% it? Am I a god gamer? Discovers a way down, sees a gun. Look at that. I'm the best maid ever. Is the game audio good enough? Is it loud enough? Should I raise it up? Marcus, it's a nice house. Deposit the package. Wow. <laughs> it's a chandelier. Man, look at yourself. Be proud. <laughs> I'm a robot and I'm proud. Android. I wonder if Apple was to come out with a... a an android? Would they call it android? Or they would call it an Apple robot. Knowing, knowing Apple, they would do some shit like that. Why do I even need to wear a jacket, bro? Do I even get cold? Hello, birdies. Are y'all real? Turn on, okay. No way. <laughs> Honey, can you turn on the Samsung parrots again? You should be charged by now. Uh, can I go upstairs first? Oh. Let me appreciate some art real quick. This is beautiful. Speaking of art, I need some paintings from my place. I just moved in here and I... These walls are bare. Game audio was good. Okay, thank you. Speaking from personal experience, the dad sounds like he's mad at himself. When you are the cause of... When you are the cause of things going wrong, it's so much easier to blame everyone around you rather than work on... Yeah, for sure. He has no, uh, what is the word I'm thinking of? Personal responsibility? No. Uh, doesn't take ownership of his, of his problems. There's a word for that and I can't think of it right now. My guy is fancy. How does this guy still have a job? Is he like the creator of the robots or something? What model number is this guy? Is he sleeping? Is that a sleeping man? Was oh, that the that's the guy? What if I just put that pillow right over his face and then he can never get on his bed? Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, draw the curtains. Do I really want to wake him up? Oh, wake Carl upstairs. This guy's name is actually Carl. That's funny. I was calling the other one Carl because of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I could be a hundred percent wrong about all of that. Like I said, I don't remember how the story goes. Nah, but that's pretty true. Oh, he's tatted too. This guy's kind of cool. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Nah, dude. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Are we the, I mean, are androids just a better version of us? They don't forget, they don't hey, get sick. Arm, please, Carl? They don't no. get cold, they don't get hot. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. 
I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. Oh, he's a sympathizer for real. So quickly, all this effort to keep him going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the streetcar. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? Yeah, bro. This makes sense. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Dude, what if AI and the applying them to now. robots is, like, truly the next step in the human tech, like, human form? Like, what if... We're just like building a means to the human end, like just a better, like, or civilization. And they, okay, sorry, I stopped talking there because the controls were confusing me just for a second. Well, I'm showering this man. I mean, I guess he is disabled, so getting a robot for that would be quite beneficial right. he's tatted was he like an artist or something looks like it he must have been a very successful artist I mean he's a painter he anything special on the agenda today Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't seem to get behind it. Okay. Wow, this is a house. Automatic doors, transparent TV. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Mark. Oh, love me some bacon and eggs. My buddy, I mean, to be fair, I guess you don't need a hairline. I'm just used to it because of like the society that I grew up in that like, you know, you would line this this puppy up. My buddy just looks like he don't care about haircuts, man. Don't he? Golly. It's OK. Let me stop judging. Spread positivity, I should. This TV is... Wow. Screen line cast. Like a 3D fish tank in a 2D space. Is it still glass there? It is. Okay. Chessboard bro. Bro, this has style and grace and class. Look at this. It looks like I'm in a museum. Like low-key. Uh, what's that supposed to do? Uh, serve breakfast. Oh boy, he's a drinker. Oh, bro, the kitchen's this way. He got the Dia los Muertos skulls. Got that. Got that Steinway. Uh, piano. How did I remember Steinway before I remembered piano? That's crazy. those coordinates like on the bottom left and right of serve breakfast wow Dude, this place is so nice i'm just taking in the the environment i i know the the kitchen is is in here and the breakfast is right there just looking around fancy dishes these look so complicated and like annoying to try to clean I guess you can put it in the dishwasher, but like, I feel like stuff would just get caught in the nooks and cranny of these finely detailed uh, like cups and trays and stuff.
Is Thank it still warm? Oh, it sounded warm. Television. Oh. Russian flag. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Uh-oh. Russian tensions in the Arctic sounds... sounding too real, man. Off. Find something to do. Oh, let me go play that Steinway. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. Oh, the Quantic Deluxe. It's not a Steinway. <laughs> he cheaped out. Uh, what else? Spin the globe? Is that the thing that I want to be doing? I could play chess. Okay, maybe so this is probably not one of the options. Huh. Worth it. What do those stairs lead to? Am I... Hey man, I get it. This house is cool. You got random art, but like, is this just a piece of art? <laughs> the stairs that lead to nothing? Yeah, I'm definitely playing with music. Find something else? Nah, we sitting down, baby. Melancholic, hopeful, intimate, enigmatic. I don't even know what enigmatic means. Uh, Let's play some... Hopeful. I'm not really feeling hopeful. I'm kind of feeling melancholic. I was bullied today. <laughs> Beautiful. No way I'm playing this slow. Oh, okay. Just tap it. Okay. I just keep tapping. You like that, Carl? Carl, you like that? Something has changed in the way you play. <laughs> you don't Sometimes say. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. I, I mean, <laughs> one day I won't be here to take Thank care you. of you anymore. Take care You'll of me. You have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. What? This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. What happens when the owner of the robot dies? Like, or android? Like, do they just go back to the shop? Or do they stay in with the family? Like, I don't know what happens. Take Carl to the studio. He finna rap? In the studio. I was chilling in the studio. This is... Oh my god! <laughs> this is beautiful. That 
That's a hell of a machine. Remove the sheet. Talking to me? Oh, uh, well, you could have said please. Like I know, I thought we was friends. I only pulled one side. How did the other side open? Clean the studio. I mean, I guess I'll do chores. I mean, like I guess that's why he bought me. Not to be friends. I thought I was a friend, but like that's just gonna be kind of rude over here. This guy must be successful painter if he's living like this. Then again, it is Detroit. <laughs> How much does a house cost in Detroit? I have a feeling it's like not that much. But who knows? Futuristic Detroit is probably different. Yeah, I ain't cleaning shit, boy. What's your verdict, Marcus? <laughs> I don't like it. Do I like it? Uh, I actually kind of do like it. No cap. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give this sounds try. like try painting something. The voice actor from Alan Wake 2. Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> like the the narrator for like the I can't explain it. The 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 cop, the police guy, the the police guy in Alan Wake Two. This is like the same voice actor, no? Find a subject to paint. Oh, uh, paint statue, paint the desk, paint Carl's painting. I'm about to paint the statue, paint the desk. Do I want to paint the mess? Yeah, let me. I want to paint the desk. It looks like the most complicated thing here. Should have named it Picasso for real. Oh wow, that was fast. That a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. <laughs> Brother, you didn't program me for thoughts do something for me close your eyes close your eyes trust me yeah, I'm just gonna paint a memory try to imagine something that doesn't exist something impossible never seen cannot compute now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas I hate how they put me on the back of the bus Androids, humanity, identity, identity, androids, despair, prisoner, despair. Why they got me slamming the D like that, bro? Big pause. Open your eyes, Marcus. You're missing the canvas. Ooh, this 
this goes hard. Oh Is that his real son? Probably he's getting angry. Hey, he lost his job as a son. <laughs> How you lose your job as a son? I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Saw it coming. Okay. Saw it coming from a mile away. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, Drugs. He's probably on that red gold, ice. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. That red ice. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. I'm sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son. Ah, uh, it's right? actually not plastic. It's adamantium. Yeah, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient. Not like me, right? <laughs> but you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. <laughs> Bro, this Enough. thing looks like it would whoop your ass, bro. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. I mean, yeah, he's you a... never loved anyone. Oh. You never loved me, Dad. Oh my God, annoying ass. You never loved me. Touch your drug addict ass up. Go back to rehab. Unless he started doing drugs because that's the way he felt, then. Damn. Oh no, there were so many things I missed. Well, for sure, I guess this is the painting stuff, so... Leo intruded to ask for money. I think, yeah, all actions would have led to go to the studio. Yeah, all actions would have led to that. This is cool how it kind of... It was you at the end here, whether or not there would have been a different action. Activate birds. There was more things I could have done. I didn't do it. I'm a bad android. Okay. I also like how this game is broken up into chapters. It makes it a little easier for me to, to pace myself here. Video wise. No androids allowed. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> I tell you what. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Certainly not this man. I can tell who he is just by the back of his head. One to eighty nine security guard. Jimmy Peterson, born in 2001. It's crazy, bro. Like, born in 2001, he looks way older than me, and I'm 93. Obviously, this is 15 years in the future, but it's wild. Wait, 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 what? Edward Dempsey, 95. That's crazy. He's two years younger than me, technically. Uh, is that what? Am I gonna look that old in the year 2038? Hey, make sure y'all using like skin protection and like sunscreen when y'all go outside, man. And if you're smoking cigarettes, stop it. Unemployed. Uh, that's not his name. <laughs> Christopher Gray. Criminal record is a DUI. You couldn't have just hired a robot to drive you home, buddy? mismatch Jonah Graham 1987 unemployed this guy looks significantly younger <laughs> than the guy across from him and he's way older so why go on with that K 
Kim Yohan, 1999 delivery. That's crazy how old he looks. Criminal record, domestic abuse. Everybody in here got a criminal re criminal record. Scan faces. All right. Are you Lieutenant Dan? Dennis Ward, 1982. He should be the oldest in the club. Uh, oldest in here. He has gray hairs. Accountant, currently unemployed, narcotics supplier. But this is just a bad place, huh? Yo. Just here to look at your face. Unemployed criminal record. Criminal record none. 1998. He's a baby. Samuel McRae. Docker. Criminal record none. Born in 2012. Is that a tattoo of the number 13 on his face? Is that what I'm seeing? Um. Okay, guess I gotta go in the back. You know, just taking a little Android leak. Whoa, whoa, relax. I'm just taking an Android whiz here. And check myself in a mirror. Oh wait, so I guess they brought me back to life because I'm like a police android. I'm an RK800. I wonder what the RK stands for. 31% unemployment rate. When will it stop? Uh, don't seem to be in here. Unless this is him. Did I, did I check this guy? Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Born 1985. Police lieutenant. Damn, 1985 just looks so old now. Yo. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like uh, you. It's not plastic. Little robot and get the fuck out of here. Reason, threat, and understanding. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Depression is probably so high now. Understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Spill his drinks, buy him another drink, wait outside. Eh, let's buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Yeah, come on. Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. You just drinking whiskey straight? I don't know. I don't think I got enough hairs on my chest for that. Did you say homicide? Now you're ready. Yeah, you gotta you gotta reason with these humans, man. They're simple creatures. They're so simple. They're complex, but simple at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I, maybe you just gotta be one to understand one. You wait here. I won't be long. Patient, firm, diplomatic, or whatever. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Huh? Follow Anderson. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Are those police drone cameras? This gut reminds me of Harvey from Gotham. With this guy? Yeah. Harvey Dent. 
androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Who's the following? This cinematic camera angle. But no, yeah, this guy definitely reminds me of Harvey Dent a little bit too. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated Harvey assault. Dent. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy and went worth oh. calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Harvey no the car and, and Gotham here. is a cop. There's a kitchen Harvey Dent is a different here. character entirely. Probably Gotham is a mess. Oh, no. Uh, I thought you were just talking about, like, break in. the stuff. Is that nope. not... The Part landlord of said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Holy. I, I gotta get some air. Is this yourself at home. the house with the little girl? I'll be outside if you need me. The android wrote a painting, I am alive, and stabbed that man to oblivion. Even concluded. I probably should have listened. Look at them. Is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Holy. Stabbed the mess out of him, dude. 28 knife wounds, internal bleeding. Seized more than 19 days ago. Why did it take so long? I guess nobody's coming through here to check up on this man. But I've never watched Gotham. Uh, that sounds cool. What, is that like a Netflix show? Red Ice. Bro, freaking Walter White changed up the recipe on him, dude. Left aggravator assault clues to him. Carlos Ortiz, five six, two hundred eighty six pounds. How does it get like this, brother? Sort of. It was released by a third party that didn't have full rights to DC comics and characters. They were given the rights to use some Batman characters and not others. As far as I know, it's only on HBO Max, but I could be wrong. Okay, that sounds interesting. I might give it a try. <laughs> I might have to ask my sister for her password again. The victim fell here. Reconstruction is incomplete. Damn, he got stabbed. Victim was stabbed. Uh, hello? Stabbed. Hell. Jeez. Oh, I have to move the mouse. Came from the kitchen. Uh, okay. Use the following keys to review the reconstruction. Yeah, no, I I watched it. Tap to exit. Okay. He was stabbed. Yeah. Twenty eight times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for. Him. He must have been being rude to his robot. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. 
<laughs> I am alive. Regular letters, font, cyber life sayings. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay. I this shit. Dried blood. Yeah, uh, I think Chris, we I want full analysis on the that. Review evidence one out of ten. Oh, wow. It's very okay. done, Lieutenant. That's the Kanife. No fingerprint. Android involvement? Question mark? Seems like it. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples? Dried blood, Ortiz, Carlos, sample date. There. 19 yeah, days ago. That's it. Eden Club, come visit us. Uh, so, sir, we gotta go to the club at, uh, the, for, for the case. Why was there cereal in there, dude? Oh, you thought I was gonna miss something, huh? Damn. That's a shit ton. Victim used drugs. That red ice will do it to you, won't it? Boy, if you don't get out the way. Dried huh? blood. No, not open that just yet. Can I look at this blood here? seems to be a struggle as if there was a stabbing of some sorts hey my boy was really out here android sex officially better sorry ladies but plastic can't be, be it, it's actually not plastic uh mark water the nancy reese step out together uh okay the result of our survey is in and it's official, 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. <laughs> Holy cow. There are a few reasons. There are a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. That's crazy. This story was <laughs> sponsored by Eating Club. Discretion is our middle name. Tech addict, is your android spying on you? That's creepy as hell. More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. It's great, like I feel like everybody's phone does that already. For, like depending on what apps you're using or what kind of phone brand you have like companies really do sell your data to third-party companies like information is probably how most of these companies make most of their money uh ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner cyberlife could use that information for targeted advertising the information goldmine doesn't stop there everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to cyberlife only deepens such concerns. 
Several consumer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife disclose the information it gathers and who would sell the information to, but the company has always refused requests for formal inquiry have gone unanswered so far. That's such a cool magazine. It just like changes, but like, wouldn't that be a waste of technology? Like, could you not just read that on your like transparent iPad that everybody has? Like, why make a separate random piece of technology solely for reading these like, like articles? Okay, so it was one of the kitchen knives. It's a baseball bat. A metal baseball bat. Theft and aggravated assault. Wait, what? A oh, criminal record. Okay, I was about to say they, like, he's defending himself. I'm sure. Dent. Violent impact. Traces of Ethereum. Ethereum, I guess, what the blue blood is made out of? Like the android blood? Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. It's attacked, hit multiple times, got a knife, decided to s s defend himself. There's something weird in the bathroom. Did you take a look? Something weird in the bathroom. Uh, I actually don't want to take a look. How about that? What's this? It looks like I could look at something on the floor here. Is it? Fingerprints. Gotcha. Signs of a struggle. Yeah, who would have thought? Is this the bathroom? Can't be. Is there anything I'm missing before I go outside? The bathroom. No mirror? Yeah, he was a psychopath. Ain't no way you don't have a mirror in your bathroom. Obsessive writing. Uh huh. Um. Was the android gambling in the bathroom? What are those dice doing there? Religious offering? <laughs> All hail. The Samsung Galaxy S27. Investigate crime team. Let's go outside real quick. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. He's outside. This android is my favorite character of the main three. The chick has a favorite story. I forgot the names. I really need to play this game again. This game is just so interesting because of how real it feels. Like it's like jarring, but it's like I could easily see this being a possibility considering this game is a few years old, but like, I don't know if you're familiar with like uh, Elon Musk and all his little companies, but he had like a keynote like a day or two ago where he was also showcasing some of his robots, some of his like robo vans that look just like the vans in this game. And the robots, granted, they don't look like humans yet. They definitely look like robots. But I think eventually they can get to this because, like, they have a good level of fidelity. They, they're able to talk to you using, like, like AI. I don't know. It's just, it's so insane how realistic this all feels. This is, like, 15 years in the future. And I definitely feel like it, within 15 years we can get to this with how fast these things are moving. Uh, shoe print. Oh. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Deviant didn't escape this way. 
I'm a better detective than you. How does that feel, brother? You're washed up. You're a washed up LT. And now, a robot that was built two days ago is already better than you. I need to call them androids. I keep calling them robots. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With a bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Oh, should I have found out where the victim or the killer went out first before I started talking to him? I've done more exploring. The android stabbed the victim. Victim stabbed the android. Android through the chair. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. Really thought that chair was gonna stop it? And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with a canife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. Doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for the blue blood traces. for blue blood I see it on the floor right there okay so there was blue blood leading all the way back to the kitchen it seems these graphics are pretty nice for a game that came out I don't remember what year but it was years ago for sure um Okay, so he looks like he went into the bathroom and started worshiping the almighty Samsung S27. Yeah, the, the blood is here. Unnecessary jump scare. Unnecessary. Up there. Traces lead to the attic. All traces found. Find something to climb on. It's the chair. Chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something. Oh, 
That's gotta be like a mannequin or something. Ain't no way you're just standing straight up like that. Search the attic. Hella blood up here. Okay, so he's farther back. Yeah, that's not him. Yeah, it's not coming. You, you, you're not getting me. They tried it with that little, that drum. Yeah, he's for sure in the back somewhere. Look at all that blood. He hit him. Oh. Uh. Um, hustle up, bro. I know you just saw him. No, you're right. Take it easy. You you don't know what else is down here or up here. Oh no! Nah. I saw the red light. He's on hustle mode. Hello. I feel you, bro. I feel you. He was gonna kill me. He sure was. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Ain't nothing going on up here. It's here, Lieutenant. Oh, I didn't even get an option. Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. You did kill a human, though. Come on. I mean, it's definitely a crime. I know you was defending yourself, but come on. Connor found the deviant in the attic. What did I? What did I miss? Check shower. There's something else I should have checked, and I didn't do it, which was a whole nother path. Which led to something huge. That one thing I didn't check. Okay. <laughs> Read Android sex. Honor knows what happened. What is this? What did I miss here? Oh, that thing could have also led here. And then this one thing also. <laughs> Thank God. It's okay. Uh, actually, I, I think I might, uh, end the video here. Actually, no, let's, let's finish this, this chapter. This is probably gonna be the last chapter of the video. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. That boy clutching that red eyes hard, ain't he? Bro, this is a tough house to even like witness, man. Can I walk in front of the TV now? Yeah, look at you. Not even focused. Dinner, sir, food. What is outside? Is it outside or is it the wall that I'm looking at? Turn on the light. I talk to old girl. The new... Okay. Before I serve food, let me go get the strap. Oh, okay. Can't. I don't want what happened, you know, to the previous android that was getting beat up to happen to me. <clears throat> Do I ever need to be charged? There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Yeah, bro. Get some groceries, bro. Water, napkin, serve. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire. 
fucking android. I mean, you could have done it yourself, to be Joke. honest. You don't need an android to care for your house. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Wait for new instructions? Nah, Failed. bro. Go get the strap. Stop moving around. For Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. <sighs> All the more reason for me to have that strap. What's your fucking problem? Okay. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! Oh, she left. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. How did he get possession of the kid? Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! No way. How is it her fault? Here. Unless Come back here? that wasn't Come back here right now. her mom. No. Did he have a kid? Yes. With huh? Go see Alice. You stay there. Uh, no. Don't you dare fucking move. I, I gotta I'll go see Alice. Worse than last time. I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. Oh, took off without a word. All right, well, I'm gonna wait for him to get real high, no! and then I'm gonna go grab the gun. Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. What? I just wasn't good enough for oh, yeah. her. I don't come. You're, you're coming too close, brother. Little fucking brat. Turn around. Don't move. Fuck it. Go on upstairs. We're grabbing the gun. Break the restraints. Become alive. Yes, sister. You can do it. I know you can. Break down the walls. You can do it. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. <laughs> she just became sentient. Protect Alice. Reason with Todd? Ain't no reason, bro. Go get the strap. It's all her fault. Go get the strap. 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 Open the door. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me? Is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? Oh, bro, come on. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Weave. <laughs> Weave. Weave. Watch out, Kara! Hey, oh, okay, cool, oh, shit. Kiwi, kiwi. Oh fuck. Uh -huh. Okay. Kiwi, 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 kiwi. D D D. Hey, fuck. I press wrong button. Shift and what the fuck? Hey. 
I was not expecting it to end like that. I was thinking maybe we could shoot him in the knee or something. Out the window. Yeah, we out of here. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't need to go out the window. He's not here to stop us anymore, I suppose. Change of clothes. Jeez, man. I mean, he was definitely like, did he need to die? No. But did Alice need to not be in that house? Absolutely. Yeah, there was. I, there definitely had to have been so many other options. I probably shouldn't have gone for the strap. Probably could have escaped through the window. There's so many other things. Gun scene in home. Oh. Probably comes deviant. Break programming. I could have probably just stayed there and let her beat the daughter up. Okay, he becomes deviant. Go upstairs. I could have what I could have gone to reason with him too. But then that some of these look like they end here. Yeah, I think the I don't know. I think I did what I had to do. Uh, I didn't I did not want to kill him. Cuz like now for sure I'm in trouble by the police. Like maybe if I just like got the daughter out of a bad situation, yeah, that would have been okay, but not only did I kill the the father, now I stole the daughter as well. That's crazy. Um, forty six percent of people did that. <sighs> oh shit. Uh yeah. That was guys. Thank you for watching that. That was part one. Uh I think I'll end it here. Uh just to, you know, be able to have uh, part one up in a timely manner. These videos are already running kinda of long. But thank you for watching, dude. This game is is too real. It's got my blood flowing. It's got me thinking about so many things like i i truly see this as as a, a future like the near future next 15 years for sure i'm seeing robots uh, being sold to people um but uh quick question would you guys buy like a robot like this like say it is like super expensive like i i even think that that uh 7900 price point was probably not even going to be it like i feel like they're going to be at least 10000 um would y'all buy it? Like, say it's, you've lost your job to androids. You can't get a job, like, no matter how hard you try. Like, every job is like, just, sorry, we're not hiring. Because Android, obviously, is doing it for free. And requires way less maintenance. And can do, like, work around the clock without any sort of labor laws. Um, would you all still buy an android? Would you be nice to it? Like, how would you treat it in your day-to-day like, I don't know. This is, is tough. I feel like I would be kind of nice to it. Like, just, I don't know. I feel like I'm a, deep down, I'm a nice person, you know? Um, and, like, you can't blame the androids. Like, it's not their fault. Like, humans created them, you know? Like, it doesn't make any sense to blame them. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching once again. Uh, hit that like button because it helps out. It, especially a small channel like me, it really helps out. Like, you have no idea. It helps out way more than you know. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already so you can catch part two and part three or however many parts are to this game. Uh, yeah, guys. Love you for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.